you are watching Access LaPorte County, Channel 97. Coming up next is the January 3rd, 2023 meeting of the Michigan City Fire Barrack Commission. You can find more information for this meeting by visiting www.accesslaportecounty.org. All right. Let's uh, bring this merit, or merit Commission meeting to order on January 3rd, 2023. Uh, stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call. Mr. Deutscher. Present. Mr. Here. Kevin Dorn. Adrian. Here. Still here. Mr. Beji. Here. And myself is here. Ten. Approval of the minutes. Uh, regular meeting minutes, December 5th, 2022. I need a motion to accept. I'll make a motion to accept the minutes. I'll second it. Any questions on uh, motion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Nays. Abstains. Uh, approval of the minutes of the executive session minutes of December 5th, 2022. Need a motion for that? I'll make a motion. <coughs> Second. Any questions on the motion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Nays. Abstains. Report from the city council representative. It's not here. I have a meeting in a little bit. Hmm. Report from the commission attorney. There's no report at this time. Report from Union Local 475. Come over here. Oh, there you are. Uh, nothing really to report, but I do have a question. Okay. And maybe the chief can help me with this. If someone is suspended, mm -hmm. They're not supposed to be on fire department property. Mm -hmm. That doesn't count for city property. They can still go to city hall, all that. Mm -hmm. But what if they need or want to come to a merit commission meeting, which is obviously held on what's considered mm -hmm. fire department property? Is there an issue with that? No. Okay. They, they can actually um, have permission from the chief to go to city uh, fire department property also. I understand that. Okay. But I'm saying, do they need permission to come to a merit commission meeting? Like you stated, it, it it is a public meeting, so I wouldn't think so. But the uh, well, really, lay, it, it really falls upon you because your statement just now, you can ask for permission to come to fire department property. Yeah. So it's really your decision. So would they have an issue coming to a American? They're not coming to hang out, but they're coming well, to American Commission. Issue with it, you mean, yeah. If no, they were to come, there would be not be any. Okay, I'm just no. I'm just and I was asked earlier today, and I told the individual. Well, well, it's, this is just free this is something that kind of crossed my mind before yeah. and it just now has happened to come up. That, that, mm -hmm. Well, we never had that problem before until they kicked us out of City Hall. Correct. It was at a well, public Yeah, yeah. Place. And that's, that's why I'm right. asking. So for anybody that has a question about that later, maybe suspended, wants to come address you guys, uh, yeah. to come address the commission so there's no issue. All right. That's, no, that's no, really... No. Yeah, that's, cool. that's up to so the that chief. If the, is, if the chief... At City Hall. So this right. is a public meeting, so... Yeah, there should be public yeah. access to it. Correct. That's, yep. But I just wanted to, uh, that would be, I think, up to the chief if he wants to be asked every time or he uh, just says it's okay if you want to come yeah. to a public meeting. Uh, it's a public meeting. So there you go. Cool. I just... I just yeah. Sure. No. Yeah. Just, just want to make sure. No, I just clarify it for myself also. Very good. Yep. Other than that, I don't have any other thing. City Hall. Report from Fire Chief Legault. Uh, yes. Uh, first, I'd like to welcome Mr. DeBeja to BG. the De BG, BG. Sorry. BG. To the uh, commission. Look forward to working with you. Thank you. Um, if you need anything, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Get all the paperwork you need. Um, so I'm going to start with our call report. We had 363 calls in the month of December 2022. Nine fires. 283 rescue slash emergency medical calls, seven hazardous condition calls, 14 service calls, 45 good intent calls, four false alarms, false calls, one special incident. Thank you. And I would like to go over December anniversaries. We had one, Chris Gaines, at two years. 
And then I would like to announce the retirement of Chris Hartsburg. Chris joined the department on December 8, 1994. He has been performing as a driver operator since January 11, 2014. I would like to thank him for being, for him being dedicated to the citizens of Michigan City and to the Michigan City Fire Department for just over 28 years. Uh, wish, wish him the best in his future endeavors. Uh, with that being said, due to retirements and upcoming retirements, I request that you would make a motion to contact the next four people on the hiring list for employment with the Michigan City Fire Department. I'll make a motion. I'll second. Any questions on the motion? All in signify by saying aye. 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 Nays. Abstains. Next four. Thank you. Yes, sir. And you'll conduct that as we have been in the past. You'll contact them and contact them, see if they accept. Yep. And move down the line. Okay. Thank you. And as soon as they say yes, then I'll get the ball rolling to yep. get their just make sure. Uh, their background check. Yep. All right. Um, and then with the two names that we've already used off the hiring list, now four more. Uh, I'd like you guys. I'd like to ask that you check to see how many are, are remaining on the list, and remind you that I believe it's at number three. We have to. So we have, I believe, three more retirements coming up. Well, since it's going to be down to three, we have to start a new process. Oh, it's already going to be at three. Then. It will be at three. Okay. The next four, you said, we took two. Took two, I believe, right? And then the next four, okay. that yeah. would give us six, and there was nine on the list, so that leaves three. I didn't know yeah. where we're at. Yes. Okay, just a reminder. Thank you. So let us know so we can work with you on that, Commissioner Nile, on um, you know, the procedure. Um, and then last, uh, previously we had, this, had discussions on changes uh, in the mayor ordinance. Uh, I would like to ask that we set up a series of meetings to discuss needed changes. We keep going over this and over this, we just need to set some meetings so that we can get something done. I would say before we set meetings, as we've been asked for, we need some kind of agenda on what you guys are looking to change. So when we go to a meeting, we know what we're looking okay. at. So the fire department has to bring that the fire union. So well, I noticed I'm getting looked at. <laughs> so I've been asking you. Well, you well. I'm just asking for. A, I asked for a clarification okay. a long time ago about something else. I didn't ask about a change or anything. I asked for a clarification. So moving on to the changes, uh, I have talked to uh, the individual that's. I guess I'd say he's heading up the the committee to look at. I understand. We won't, we were just waiting to get past Christmas and not, you know, right. New Year stuff, and I think we've got a meeting plan for the middle of this month to start going over and looking at things to start trying to figure out what would you know changes. Right. So that's where we've got to start. And then we I will double check with them this week right. just to make sure that we did set a day. I think we did, but I've had a lot going on this week. We can have something preliminary by next meeting. Right, we can't just come into a meeting and talk about a bunch of changes. We, we, right, we, don't, right. With something we want to have a heads up and see if it's something that can be changed right. or if there's any possibility. We don't want to waste our time on stuff that's right. not. So, so we'll get back with you then. He will get back with you. I'll get back with you before the next meeting. and Right, or, or email Or me. at the next meeting. Yeah, I'll, get, I'll get up with you guys. Yeah, okay. No problem. Is it possible for the board members, if they want to, to come to these that I you guys talk about? I wouldn't see why not. I mean, it's not like some big secret. Or right. Yeah. Correct. Maybe we have some input, too. Sure. I just want to make sure we keep on the subject. And because we do have to work with you guys, to Right. You know, with, with the commission to get the changes done. So uh, you're going to find out about them eventually anyway. Or but then doesn't it go in front of the council, council and they can vote it down if they yeah, want? I mean, but sure. Right. Okay. But it starts somewhere. Yeah. But I'll right. I'll be right there beside you. It's long overdue. When you do that, I'll, I'll be there with you, or if you want me there. If we get to that point. Yes, we'll, yes, we will. Our first thing, let's get a list. <clears throat> all right, that's all I have, sir. Okay. Old business. The only old business I can think of is nominations for the president, vice president, and secretary treasurer. I believe last meeting we stated that we wanted to wait till we had a full board. Uh, we're still waiting for the. It'll be an election time between me and Mark Miller. Yeah, okay, so you guys, so probably next. Next meeting. Next meet our meeting. We should have a full, yes. so we'll take care of that at next meeting if there's a full board. 
new business. You already asked for the guys? Correct. Okay. Is that something you want me to do under new business? No, it's because take, you took care of it. I don't want to. No, it's fine. I want you to skip me. Because actually, that. no, that's fine. I got it written down. Okay. But I Next can't wait four. New business. I just. Because that isn't really under a report, though. So. Well, if you want to bring it up now, sure, go ahead. No, no. I, from now on, I will. Okay. If you want me to. Very well. Commissioner? All right. That was one new business. Now, the next new business is uh, I received a notice that a firefighter tested positive on his drug test. Uh, the chief gave him five days off, and it's up to us to somebody make a motion to give him the other 25 if we need, you know. Uh, I mean, that's what the ordinance says. So. It's up to our discretion, right? I... Well, you adopted Regulation 1, which says you acknowledge and recognize that he was drug and alcohol testing. And that was the whole purpose of Resolution 1 or Regulation 1, was it so that everyone was on the same page. It's, you adopted it. The city policy says 30 days. Not a case by case basis. It says 30 days. With that being said, why do we have to make a motion and vote on it? Because I, what happens if somebody doesn't want. Because want the Merit Commission is the one that, that suspends and okay. promotes and demotes the firefighters. But that shall also give the right to the Merit Board to vote no if they want to vote no. Then why pass regulations? I wasn't here. I would not have let it. I would have fought. That is fought, a regulation. Fought. We're not here to overturn right. that or set that aside. That is a regulation that's in place. But I have the right to vote no. You do. Okay. That's I, all I need to know. Technically. When we voted on this, we were looking for this. We got the results of the drug test, and I have no idea what it says. And we have, you know, just says, says positive. It doesn't say what amounts he had or anything like this. I haven't looked at it. I, I don't uh, I'm just saying. Oh, I don't. You have, uh, we need more information in how these tests tests are <coughs> that things brought up today on if you, this man tested positive for marijuana and how come he's still driving to some fire truck until his test came back. Well, the only only way to rec you know to rectify that would be then to suspend the firefighter pending the test results. No, no, I mean, you, because there's a, there's a delay. In test results. But why suspend them? He should be put on. He should be put on administrative leave with pay until the until no. the test results come back. You can't suspend him and take money for him when, he, when a test he result. Reinstate him. Comes back I, negative. I, I know the the fire department. The deputy chief did not know. Uh, he was test. He, he was tested on the nineteenth. I believe they were contacted on the twenty eighth. So, right. I, I don't believe the city even. No. Knew about it either. I don't think anybody knew about it. I right? talked to Tata Anisha today, is that how you say it? Right. And she stated I, that assuming she didn't know either. they're looking into yeah. the whole policy. Yes. No. Well they're and looking why, into the that does the why it didn't why they, they we want notified? a rapid test. Why weren't we notified? Right. They want a rapid test. And the rapid test can come at working well. Sure. So they might be going to working well. I don't know that for the testing. We weren't, we weren't so, notified about the. We weren't even notified that it was pending. So are we? Got, well, we're was, in agreement. There's major flaw with what happened. I wouldn't say there's there's a major flaw with what happened because this is a procedure. That's not a major. There's not a major, there's not a major flaw with the policy. There's a, is, a, a, there's a problem with, a, with the procedure. Yeah, the but policy he, is a drug policy. You guys have adopted it. I you guys have that. acknowledged it. It should be no question on that to me. It should be carried out. But all tonight. along, it was I had questions now, all along on how it was, and they, the you know I did the um, results and the testing. This is foreign language to me. I have no idea what this test result says. Just for clarification, you guys keep saying he he he. We do have female firefighters on the job. Or she, or what? This is supposed to be confidential. The firefighter. Fire, 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 this, this individual or this Good firefighter. Point. Firefighter. Thank you, Rob. Okay. So, you guys have uh, acknowledged the policy. You signed for it. Mm -hmm. You want a copy of it? I have it. I got a copy. I thought so. It has your name on it. Huh? You signed for it. So. I had to sign for it because I'm the interim president. Right. I wasn't here at the meeting. Was I was dead properly. against it. It was done properly. Right. You voted on it. So, <clears throat> so I'm dead against it. Let me. 
It doesn't matter. So you're picking and, and if I get to vote, you know how I vote? You're going to pick and choose? It's what, not pick and choose. You follow? It, dep it depends on what the, what, he, what the person fails. That's no. my eyes. No, the policy is very clear. But you just said I do I'm have the right the to vote no. To you said it. You're the lawyer. You said I have the right then, to vote no. Then I guess we don't do re resolutions or regulations and rules because if it's going to be a case-by-case -case basis, that puts us in the whole mess that we started with. Exactly why I didn't want this drug policy in our merit ordinance. But it's an effect, Mr. Ryland. Then I'm going to vote effect. no. I don't even, is there actually a vote? They have to vote because they're the ones that punish or suspend and promote. Right, 30 days. But since they've already voted on the I know. policy and they have acknowledged it and adopted it, whatever you want to call it. They still have to vote. That's why I didn't vote. Because. Just the same as you know. They put it off. It takes a while. Why did we do Shove it down our throats. Don't okay. know. Well, you, you see my recommendation or, or my request in that, so. I haven't seen anything from your. It was sent out today on email. Would you like a? I, you know, I have a personal email. I'm, I'm going to make a motion. Okay. But we're on a different subject in right. the business. But I will. Okay. And uh, Mr. Adrian has a copy there, a hard copy. Do you want to look at it real quick? How come only Mr. Adrian has one? Yeah, he came in early. He came in early. He came in early and asked for it. I asked for it. I can go make you all copies if you like. I didn't see the email because I checked my emails before I came here. Me neither. All that. Where'd you send it to? You didn't see the email? Nope. Jen, Jen sent it out. Well, he has the list. The city took my yeah. email from me because I'm not a city employee. Bring it up on a new business. Well, that's we are. <laughs> but I am a city employee. I get a city check. I don't know what Mr. Yagelsky's talking about, why he's taking mine, because they have to pay a few dollars for me to have an email. Everybody up here should have an email through the city. We work for the city. But that's another subject. And that would be brought up in your business. Can I get you guys a hard copy real quick or not? Would you like one? You, you haven't seen it then, at all? No. Well, it's like a hundred times. Yeah, I don't think I've seen it. I have a question. Along with obviously the issue with this drug test, where it took nine days to get the results back. There was another issue where I received a phone call questioning the randomness of it. And I know it was brought up in a hearing last year for another individual over a drug test. And listening to them talk about the way people will sit on the list doesn't make it very random. So I believe we got a lot of issues, or the city got a lot of issues with these drug tests. And I think the whole thing needs to be looked into. Right. That's my personal opinion. I believe they're doing that right now. They, they probably That's what she told me that day, Eric. And I pointed out a few flaws that I thought were in there to her, and she wrote them down, and whoever she's talking to is going to... I know what was said in that hearing. Everybody can go back and get transcripts or whatever. I was sitting here involved with it. I know what happened. And uh, it raised my eyebrow. Takes away the randomness, randomness well, of the whole thing. So the way it's been explained to me, and I don't, I know how the, I know what the, the the personnel director at the time said during that hearing. So I don't need it explained to me. I know what she said, and there's no randomness to it. Once you're on the list, you're going to sit on the. She said until they get you. She okay. said if if they pull the guy's name in July. Okay, that you just stated right there. They pulled the name randomly in July, right? Right. Okay. So how does he get to sit around until they just finally catch up with him in, let's say, September? Because he wasn't on duty when the company was here. I figure if they need to get you when your name got pulled, they're going to catch. They need to just catch you right. some other time down the road. When the next you, time he comes into town, town should be repulled. I, I don't know. But they said they'll just sit on the list. Whoever gets pulled just going right. to sit on the list till when they're, they're not on vacation, right. they're not on comp day, they're not on sick day, right. like that. But so there's no real randomness to it. Well, that, that takes away the randomness. The original name was pulled randomly. That's how I see it. Yeah. Uh, I guess it's just a difference of hey, how you look at it. But it true, uh, it's the way you look at it. But I, I find that to be a flaw. I, I originally, think. the name was drawn randomly, so I. I uh, the city. The and they weren't on duty that day. They, they uh, only come certain right days. My question, yes, sir. Chief, how many days did this firefighter drive the fire truck? I don't know the exact. How many duty days? I don't know, Commissioner. I'd have to look. 
I was off this whole time. Uh, if it was if it was a nine day period, then there's possibility so of three days he worked. Two or three. Yeah. So, in your opinion, do we need a random uh, uh, test? Not rem but when it's tested, it has to, we have to have results. That would be optional. That would be no, that's not an option. Do you agree with? But that's that otherwise. That's the personnel director. Yeah, that would be and she, now, but that would be best for us. Yeah. And I talked to her, and she says that working well does that, and that's what they're looking into sure. doing the testing yeah. there, where it's even, that it's a rapid yes, test. Or commissioner, that would be best for us because we because sent them back, the, they, we the back on shift. Yes, yeah, they. They shouldn't. If they get tested at eleven o'clock in the morning, they have the rest of their shift. To they work. shouldn't even be driving to get and tested. Then he had a next day and the if, next if day. If they're sending possibly. the result, if they're sending that sample out, I don't know how it works down there. Right. right. Well, I think it's. I'm assuming. Would you agree that our process is flawed? That process, that procedure is there. Then not the policy. That, the procedure. The time, that pers the time delay. The, the the person could drive three to four that were. Well, that's days. never happened before that I know of. It's usually. No, we don't know. We never even would. We, how would we know? It's happened before where they drug you, where you got random tested, you got tested, you went back to work, did your job until the test results right. come back. Never which been nine is, days. But still, it's still, it's wrong. Sure, you're right. An hour is too much time. I mean, if, if just think if we got an accident. How do we know if he was. So, I'm not disagreeing with that. Something happens in the city's life. Sure. Exactly. We don't know and if him. he was. And they're looking into Under a the different procedure. Or not. Yes. They're looking at a different procedure, not a different policy, but a procedure. Right, because because we don't know. <laughs> but see, there's no reason we couldn't go to work and weld sure. anytime because right. I know right. if you damage a truck and you have to go right. take a test, you there's find you a go. working well and they look right at you. 30 saying, minutes. Oh, yeah, you're good. 30 minutes. Yes. So there's no reason yes. we couldn't do that for all our drug tests. Correct. I'm Especially right. driving fire trucks well, and working with patients and whatnot. I'm not doing you know, this. The city is in a serious liability. Right. And they realize that now. They have a serious liability if you put them back online. And I go out here and screw up on a medical call or go through a lie. I believe yeah, they yeah. agree with you and they're looking into a different. Right. So we have no idea if he was under the influence while he was driving the firefighter. The firefighter. If he was not, hey, not under the, the influence, yep. but Mr. impaired. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, with this back and forth, I assume you're allowing public comment. Right? Okay, public comment. Okay. This, this is the pre president of the union and the chief talking. Well, then I would like to make a comment, if I may. Go right ahead. Thank you. The city fully recognizes that there was a breakdown in it. It's not the city's breakdown, it's, it's a test lab that we have been using. It should not have been eight days. We're concerned about the liability during that eight days, naturally. But the fact remains, you're sitting here tonight to follow through on a policy that you accepted on an individual member of the firefighters force who tested positive. Regardless of when the test was reported, the actual test showed positive on, on the presence of marijuana. Your responsibility is to move this forward. City on, recognizes on a vote. we've got a problem. City recognizes we've got a problem in this test lab. Right. Well, more than likely we will have a new test lab so that we have immediate test results. Correct. That's what Tatanisha said. But, you, but right now, you're, you have before you this incident, Correct. this individual, that the policy says should be suspended immediately for 30 days. And the chief is asking you to follow through on the second part of it, the 25 days. Yes. But the delay doesn't invalidate the results of the test. Not at all. No, the delay does not invalidate the test True. results. I don't think anybody said it did. So are you, Mayor, are you going on the record It's telling us that you will have a different drug test that will be immediate so that they won't be operating a vehicle? Yes, we are. So, you, so you're, we commit, you're admitting that, you are going to have that in pot? We realize that we have a problem. tremendous okay. liability for eight days. All right, so you're you're telling us that We're you're going, going to, to that incite in. that, and it's going to happen that it's going to be the immediate drug test. Yes, we the are. Re immediate result. Yes, okay. we are. We're not going to let this occur again. How not mean, if it's within our control. And you have to look at also when you're doing this that if you get if, if a person a firefighter gets picked to get a drug test, somebody got to come get them, take them there. He can't drive. He can't himself. drive himself. Can't drive. Well, he can drive his personal vehicle, 
if you want to let him, but he, I don't see why, how you could even let him drive the pump there to get a drug test. I can't see that I'm because, not, you know what I'm saying? Duty. But that has to be looked yeah. at too by, when they yeah. do this. That's something that needs to be looked at also. I, well, there you're, if, 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 if you know, if, if, if a driver's name comes up mm -hmm. and you okay. say, you're out of the cab, you can't drive this truck, mm -hmm. you're wrong because you don't know that he's tested positive. Right, right. Well, you're so assuming, it's, you're assuming. assuming it gets tested. Well, once he's tested, you'll have, have somebody, back. you'll have to have somebody back, back in the cab from that right. point on. I, but, I can't agree with you 100% there because they come to work, we're assuming they're coming to work drug free. Right. right. So you're implementing well, that he's got drugs in his system just because his name popped up. That's not the case. But when he goes get tested, yes, okay. he will not get back in that fire uh, truck. You know, we'll get back in. You can drive there because you don't know. Well, he, if he gets yeah. an accident then and he comes positive That's, or she comes positive, we don't know that they're positive. Then liability comes out the window because. That's on him. Nobody knew. Firefighter. Okay, I see what you're saying. But yeah. after, yeah, if it's, there's immediate results, no, no we're not going to let him drive the fire truck after that. Or after immediate results, yes. Yes, correct. I agree with. You. See what I'm saying? Yes. Same page. I see well, that. Nothing happens when he's on his way to the drug test. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter, doesn't matter because on. nobody knows. Just because his name got pulled. It's an accident, they'll know. Well, that, but then it's just, but that's just the fails a drug test. But that's the same if she, he, a regular. Them. Duty on duty Correct. firefighters yes. driving that doesn't get called for a right. drug oh, screen. Correct. Correct. We knew this too. Right. I get it. Mm -hmm. and we knew this was a complicated issue. Yes. And it's coming back right to bite us. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say. Mm -hmm. I did. You? The test is not. The test is not. I I just don't feel confident in the test. They're, they're the looking into the validity of the right, test. I understand it. I'm going to make the motion that we suspending the 25 days. Because it's in the ordinance and we signed the ordinance, but I'm also making there has to be changes which the mayor has already said yeah. he's going yeah. to change, and we need to look in changes into this drug policy. And your regulation does acknowledge that you will adopt any amendments or changes if the city changes sure. it. Yeah, and only the city can change it. Take to the council for a change. Yeah. Motion. Is it only the city can change it, or can we change the? The city is the city's policy. Okay, so we just we can't done with. I heard a motion in a second. So did I. Okay. Just want to make sure you heard. I still need the results. This here is foreign language to me. I that, that, that we have to be able to read the results. It didn't. It has to make some kind of sense. Doesn't say what his levels were. What levels or anything. Were. Her, him. Firefighter. 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 Level. Yes. Or, and I have been studying on this all afternoon, which I don't. I didn't see my email from your chief's office. And there's a lot. If up in the air on what toxication is on THC or CBD oil, which is legal in, in the other states and in Indiana. I encourage you. But to I'm just saying the these things need to be looked into. Take it to the council. Yeah. Right. Right. I said that when we voted on this issue. You just need to take that to the city council. We have a motion in a second. Please take a vote. Mr. Mayor, I'm running this meeting, not you. Okay. Thank in you. Your public. You are public comment where. Really haven't came to public comment yet. But he asked. He did ask. He did. I understand. And I said he can okay. handle himself. I didn't know if you heard him. Ask Mikey. I want to move yeah, on so we can get something going here. Yeah. You got plane to catch. We got time. On the motion, hold Mikey. On, hold on. I'm writing it down. Any questions on the motion? Any questions on the motion? The question as in? If you have any um, questions, the motion is to give the no firefighter, motion. motion is to give the firefighter the 25 days that the chief, that was asked by the chief for the um, failure of his drug test, of firefighter's drug test. Asked to fulfill the drug policy that we signed. The drug policy is on. I want that to be ready. It's an automatic. To start change. all over. Okay. Yeah, I haven't read it yet. Yeah. All right. You got to. Uh, you okay. change it. So go ahead. No, I didn't change. Okay, I want. I'm going to change the mind. I'm making the motion that we suspend the firefighter the 25 additional days. As for the drug policy that we adopted through the city. I'm second it. The same one, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but I just wanted to make yeah, that we voted on this because of. 
Any questions on the motion? I have a comment. It sounds like the commission doesn't have any discretion here, but I would recommend looking into this because there's a distinction between finding THC in the system and being inebriated. Very well. That's yes. exactly what and that's that why. Answer. Yes. So the way it's set up now, I don't think, the, from what I understand, I haven't read everything yet, I don't think we have a choice. We have to go right. there. That's kind of what I just stated in my motion, that we really don't have a yeah. choice because we adopted that policy. That's why yeah. I asked the beginning. We have to get in the time to crank it down a little bit. So to help you with your question, since the mayor's here, maybe he can enlighten us a little. I know years ago I seen a paper that had thresholds for different... Well, that's what I said. Does afternoon. the city have one of those? Is there a threshold... Or is it just you have it in your system and that's that? They have, if it's in there. Yeah, just a set level. Is it, I mean, the no, screening I mean, level is for that is 50 nanograms per milliliter. So there is, there is a, and the conf okay. confirmatory level is 15 nanograms per milliliter. Okay. okay. I was just curious, and then, like, whatever his results All, I mean. Uh, anything else? All in favor of accepting the motion. Signify saying aye. 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 Nays. Abstain. I abstain. All right. Any new business? I have a new business. Okay. Um, I feel that as a city employee, as a member of the mayor commission, that we should have our own email address so that I don't have to go through my personal and company emails for my business as a mayor commission, commissioner and stored in all my iPad and my iPhone to, um, for the mayor commission business. I, uh, I agree with you because uh, there's some really sensitive stuff that could get out that you don't mean to get out in your personal email. Um, I was up at the uh, personnel director's uh, office today and I was asking the secretary why my email was taken. I first I asked her if I was a city employee and she said yes you're on the merit commission. Then I asked well why is my email taken, my city email taken away. Mr. Yugelski said that they didn't want to pay a few extra dollars for certain people to have it. The city lawyer came out and said that well you're a city employee you should have one and she's going to check into it. So the whole board should have an e Michigan City email. I just made the motion right. that we should have. Well, I, I don't think I mean, there's nothing that we can make a motion, but it's up to the city to do it. I don't think right. a motion is in hand to do. Is a motion not in hand? I don't. I don't know. know. Motion won't do nothing because if the city don't want to give you nothing, they're not going to give it to you. Right. Correct. So all we can do is hope that the lawyer looks into it and we right. can all get a, a a more personal or uh, I have a, a an email that. That's the only thing that uh, Mayor Commission stuff goes into. You, I, I think you could make a motion to ask the city for an email and that would show that you are all in agreement that you need one. Okay, I'll make a motion that we take it to the city attorney or the mayor's office to receive a email address through Michigan City for the Mayor Commission members. It just shows that you're in agreement with it, I guess. I don't want it. It'll help. I'll go along with it, but I don't need no email. I do. I have way too much stuff that I well, store. I got a lot of stuff also. I mean, it's not. Yeah, but then you check your Michigan City Mayor Commission email and you know what you're getting from the, instead of checking the other 100 emails you got. I clean them all off. And I know. Down. So fast, bro, you name it. I do them twice a day. But yeah. All in favor to. Did you second it? Yes. I'll second it. All in favor, so you're saying aye. 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 Nays. Abstains. So I will go to all the way as I Okay. Uh, any other new business? Public comments. Um. Go ahead. Tommy Palabic, 1316 Ohio Street. Uh, in line of the events that happened last night in Cincinnati, I'd like to um, 
have the Michigan City Fire Department partner with the Play for Jake Foundation, the Bolt for Heart, to ensure that all Michigan City Fire Department vehicles, whether it be a fire truck or the command vehicles, be equipped with the life-saving devices, the AED life-saving devices to revive uh, cardi uh, cardiac arrest victims. Uh, this was all a part of the Carney Sheriff Eag and the retired Sheriff Boyd. All the Port County Sheriff's Office vehicles are equipped with them, and I want to be assured that all the Michigan City Fire Department vehicles are also equipped with them. We got them. All the now, all vehicles. Yeah, all their vehicles. Right even like the chief's the car. Right. I do not have one now. The fire trucks and the car ten has one. Beach rescue. Beach rescue. I don't know if truck three and truck. They do not. Do you, they do not. They so, get them all. That's on the chief. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, come quote, so the, the drug policy again, are, is the city policy based off of DOT? No. There's three different policies. There's three different tests that they do for three different departments. The, uh, I know the fire department has one, which is non-DOT, and the, the other two are DOT, but I don't know how deep they go, like the guys that drive the fire trucks, uh, the guys that drive the, sweet, sweet, the street sweepers, stuff like that. The big uh, dump trucks. I was. I found that out today when I talked to the uh, up in personnel. So there's three different ones. We are non DOT. Even the drivers. Non DOT. Okay. Uh, and secondly, um, back to the policy again. I'd like to bring up the fact that you know we all know that it's legal in half of this country, right? And legal in Canada, Mexico, right? Number one. Number two, in 2018, they passed the Farm Bill Act, right? That made hemp legal in the United States and in the state of Indiana for any cannabis that has under 0.3% THC in it. You can go to the gas station right now and get it. And it is legal in this country and in the state of Indiana, right? So on top of that, we're going to suspend an individual for, I know it's out of your hand, I'm not like, but for 30 days, yet it's the same punishment if that person were to test positive for heroin, crack, <coughs> amphetamine. And on top of that, if you get a breathalyzer and test positive, I think it's only five days or 10 days for alcohol. So this test, you're not, with, with cannabis especially, you're not testing for impairment. No. The closest thing you can do is do an oral swab, which is 24 to 48 hours. The closest thing you can do to test for impairment. So essentially this policy is stating you, you're going to tell an individual what, if they go to Canada where it's federally legal, what they can and can't do on vacation. That's what, right? That's what this policy is about. And, and we're going to suspend this, this individual. Because I researched all that this afternoon and I read just what you're telling me. Right. But the question is, as far as employment goes here, we've got rules and regulations. And right now, every one of our firefighters knows the rules and regulations when they started this program. And the thing about it is, if you get drawn, tested, I mean, it's your job on the line. And every one of our officers, everybody knows that. Mm -hmm. And in the state of Indiana, I'm going to agree to 100%, the day million dollars short in a lot of things. I mean, just, but, but the thing about it is, our hands are tied. Until you get legislation down there in Indianapolis to change things, you can't, you just put it to the but correct there, is, can, there are cannabis products that are legal in Indiana. They yep. can be legal, but not when you're on the job to get tested. That's the bottom line. But with, with the test, what it showed has no idea if he was impaired or not. No, it's just in the system. No, that's not the system. for us to judge. That the test shows nothing well, whether he was impaired you're not, or not. You're not, <laughs> I mean, Alcohol, if you were to take a, um, a urine you test, to alcohol that can show for two to three weeks. weeks. Right. right? So yeah. are we just going to start doing that? And if you, they're just going to say you were impaired? We're working on it. Right. I'm, not, I'm, oh, not no. saying, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm defending the, the individual that is. But I feel bad about it, to tell you the truth. It's, it's, it's up to me. I, I've changed some things like that, and it wouldn't happen. But you know, our hands are tied. Yeah. We've got the law, laws here that are in effect, and we can't change that here. Now that the city's looking into it, right. now is the time to see how deep they're going to go and possibly remove, ask them to remove THC, let me out before I say anything, before they're going to go crazy on me, on a random. But if you get in an accident, test them for everything that you can. We have to, yes. Especially since they can't prove 
if he's impaired or not, or her. Also, doesn't the city's policy say you can your you can be advised by the medical re review officer that you have 72 hours to request another test at a different facility? That was never done. It's in the policy. So they didn't. So broke their policy. They broke their policy. They broke their policy. They broke their policy. But they still want to stay with this. this if, it, if it wasn't before, that precedent was set last year on somebody else. Meaning? Given another test. Was it requested? They no. begged for it. Did, well, one the chief called. The chief called. The person, the person, the person, he was offered the test. They offered him the test because they, that's what the policy. It, after but he, he has said, to pay, I will the person another, has to pay for it. The individual said, as far as I know, he didn't pay for it. He asked for another test. I was right in the office when it happened. And the chief called the personnel director at the time, which I don't believe was Tatanisha now. It's it. It was uh, the previous one, and they called back, offered him, okay, yeah, and then and he got another test. And what the outcome of that was, I don't know, but I know he was offered another test. So if they're offering tests for one, they need to offer tests. They should test have offered a test. Well, it's in the policy. It's written. It's written in the, Is it? Okay, I didn't, I didn't, that you have I must have missed that part. To request another test, and they did not. So they did not re you, you can advise you said so they, they dropped the ball there, too. Right. <laughs> but that's out of our hands. What if I missed my opportunity to take another test, is what I'm saying. I'm not arguing with you. Because you are informed. Correct. Because they right. did not follow their policy. I was not, I didn't even show up in medical look into, We'll have to look into it. Would it be wrong to say to offer them another test? Nope. It has to be on the It's got to be within the next 72 hours. hours. Well, no. okay, thank you. Look, sure, it's a safe It right. doesn't change the fact they didn't follow their policy. Correct. I realize that. I'm talking about the results of the test. And I have a right to request another test within 72 hours, which I was not advised of, and it's in the city policy. That they will be advised, and the person will be advised, and they never advised them. Order. Okay. So retest. The retest won't show anything, just what he had. It's a flaw, another flaw. Another pride. These things have to be, uh, they have to be administrated as for the rules. If you don't follow the rules, then it's just like any fire throw it out. fire person following the rules. If when you do your drug test and the city doesn't follow the rules, but they still we still have to punish because that they didn't follow the rules. I see. I if they didn't follow the rules, we have to look into the, the rules were followed. Right. They were. Huh? They were. They won. No. Well, they, I don't know that. They're telling me they are, but if they weren't. I don't know. The person just told you. He just told me, right. With that, with that being said, let's just say this individual, you guys look into this. We all realize we need to look into the policy. You look into the policy and find, yep, the city made a mistake. This individual should not, or he should have been op afforded the opportunity to retest again. It could have happened. You should re have to reinstate the 30 days pay that he's losing then, too. That's the question for our They're not following the policy. That's why I'm saying that again? That's a question. Yeah, it again. Well, he's asking if he, they, the city didn't do follow their rules and didn't offer him a test after 72 hours, what are we going to do with the test results? He didn't get, it wasn't. He wasn't uh, offered the opportunity to retest after the. According to the hours. policy that we adopted. There. So, so, but he is, he is being suspended for the 30 days per the policy. Mm -hmm. and I, mean, I realize that we, we've all agreed that's a mess of policy. But with that train of thought, they screwed up. Maybe he screwed up, whatever. But they screwed up by not offering another test. He could have come, or that person could have come back clean the next time. Then all this would be a wash. But yet he's still being suspended for 30 days and without pay for 30 days. I feel that that money, if there was no mistake that oh we made a mistake that the test was flawed, he shouldn't be he should be reimbursed the 30 days that he's going to be without pay. I think those tests are they go through a second process to make sure there's not a false positive. Okay. Also, well, you, know, I, you, you have to you have also, to be offered that ability, and then if you if they say you're not outside, for a second test, but the the original test goes to a two different two different things, right? But right. But, go it's yeah. what it was. It's not true. Okay, so you I failed the first it. test, but it says in there if a, if a if a positive test comes back, it says that the individual will be asked by the medical review officer, or I'm sure that's what the acronym stood for. They will be asked 
why it could have been a why it could have been a positive test. Right. And then they'll be offered in, another in test within seventy two hours. In terms of prescriptions. So was that right. individual asked why this could be a positive I don't test? Know. I have no and were idea. they and were they offered the, the test within seventy two hours for a second test? No. Was but was that seventy was the additional test based on the premise that they were on some sort of medication that could have caused positive But if they were never asked how, how, if they I, I were don't never know even if they asked. asked. I'm that's, just saying. That's it, something to take up with the personnel director right. and FIGMIC group. That's what I'm just group. saying. It, it, if you fail the test, it comes back as a positive. It says that they are they to ask you, is there a reason this right. could have been? And I'm not, I don't know. I haven't spoken to the individual right. to know whether they were asked any of that or not and then offered this test. I don't know. If that individual wants to come forward, that's cool. I'm not going to put their name out there, but that's their business. But it says they should have been asked right off the bat if, if, uh, if there was a reason for this. You know, and isn't I'm not there, sure if they were. When you go fill out paperwork for drug screens, isn't there a place that asks you about the prescriptions that you that you take? Thing. I never paid attention to offer you. I don't. I don't believe there was. There is. It, it oh. has nothing to do about prescriptions. No. You have a right, and you're right. to be advised that you can request in writing within 72 hours a second test at a separate facility. That was not done. Well. But it's up to the individual being punished to challenge that. He can, he or she can challenge. But if they didn't they know, is what he's saying. By that, what I'm saying is they can challenge the plan, the, the, this commission's decision, right. and they're entitled to a hearing. Right. Okay. So there's a mechanism for that officer to challenge our decision, and in the hearing we can hear what evidence occur, what may or may not have occurred. Okay. Properly correct. But it's up to that individual to make the challenge. So they're not without recourse. Public comment? So just to be clear, when you guys get to vote on that, yes, you've accepted that policy, but if you have reason to believe that that policy was not properly enforced, you can vote no. You can't change it right now, but you could vote no in the future. We'll need to go through a hearing. Mm -hmm. But I mean, right. if this happens again in the future, and you have somebody who's up for disciplinary action, and you have reason to believe that that disciplinary action was not properly brought through the channels or whatever rule may have been broken, you can vote no on that because you have reason to believe with further investigation or whatever you feel necessary. So we'd have to hear evidence and the city can present their evidence, the officer can present his or her evidence, and then we make the decision based on what we hear. Okay. Yeah. If we would have heard this before our vote, it might have made a difference. I mean, <coughs> Well, I don't think that the firefighter has challenged. Well, he's got the right to challenge now, and we'll have a hearing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is there a way you can be... Because step, there's step one before step two. Hmm? Step one should be the city following their policy that they adopt. One hundred percent, sir. If you don't have clean hands, you can't come to me and, and attack me for failing a test that you guys didn't administer properly. So you you're punishing me for something you guys didn't administer properly. I should have due process, just like everyone else, and I follow have. your policy. You should follow. It. Very you well, have you? All you need to do is um, protest the thing and bring up your what you've brought up now. Yeah, you will have a hearing. He's already been suspended, though. That's well, he can get it. He can right? get it. Well, that was if, if I decide not to, if the tower goes off and I decide to not go on a structure fire right now, what happens? I get reprimand, right? Because that's part of my job, right? If we, we're agreeing with you. This we're process, agreeing. we're agreeing with you. We got to go to the next process. If he goes through a hearing if and he, he finds different, hearing and we find out he'll get his payback retroactive. Yes. Everything will be cleared up. It'll be made whole. Right. But we can't do anything and argue about it at this point. I, I, and, right I don't here, and I and I have to go. Guys, so. I'm just I, I, this whole. I've got five more minutes and I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Any other public comment? Any other public comment? Uh, next meeting Monday, February 6, twenty twenty three at five p.m. Need a motion to adjourn. I make a motion to adjourn. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye.